The island nation is in crisis and citizens fight for freedom. A group from South Florida headed to Cuba today by boat to light up the sky. Local 10's Christian De La Rosa live in Key West where that group made a stop today. Christian. Louis, we're talking about a small flotilla, at least five vessels that set sail just within the past hour and a half. They're expected to arrive uh, to their destination about 12, 15 nautical miles off the shore of Cuba around six o'clock this evening. Expert boaters that examine the vessels tell us this is an ambitious mission. But for those who are taking part in this, they tell us this is the least they can do for the people of Cuba. Sky 10 over the waters outside of Bayside. Their journey started early, leaving Miami Friday morning. I was born in Cuba and my family's in Cuba and uh, it just hurt for the Cuban people and I just want to help get their message out there. Their mission to sail at least 75 miles, getting as close as they legally can to Cuba, some 15 nautical miles off the island nation's shore. Everybody's trying something different. Every different way of getting to the media and this is another way of getting to the media and that's what we need to be heard. The Cuban people need to be heard. Our cameras rolling as they arrived in Key West to refuel. Coast Guard volunteer Jim Gillernan is inspecting their boats before they head out. Where these boats are going is into the Straits of Florida and those folks that have been in the Straits of Florida know that the Straits of Florida is it can be a pretty treacherous body of water pretty quickly. Family members came here on a raft, you know, the least we could do it. We've waited for a perfectly calm day. Nobody hears Rambo or like, like this guy says on, on social media, nobody hears Rambo or nobody here is going to go over there and, you know, suicide mission. It's, it's a peaceful protest. The U.S. Coast Guard says they are not escorting the flotilla made up of just a handful of vessels, but will monitor their voyage and will be on standby in case of an emergency. Well, we're here to keep them fighting because if if you guys stop reporting this, it's all going to go away and they're going to win. And that's sad. It's really sad. Members of the flotilla also tell us they plan to set off fireworks once they are at their destination in an effort to be seen uh, by Cubans on the island. That is something that the U.S. Coast Guard is very concerned about. They tell us that usually explosives or flares are used in case of an emergency and they would hate to see any type of emergency caused by these fireworks. We'll keep you posted. We're live in Key West. I'm Christian De La Rosa, Local 10 News.